Hello again everyone, it's May 26, 2023. I'm in Utica, New York, along Schuyler Street in the New York Susquehanna and Western Railway. We're looking at a in-street switch that was based on a 1930s design for street railways. It was placed in here brand new in the late 1980s when the last track project took place here. And I have a sneaking suspicion that the railroad will be switching FX Matt Brewery today, makers of Utica Club and Saranac Ale, along with a line of soft drinks. And here's the entrance to the brewery. To say it's a tight curve inside the building is an understatement. When the tracks on Schuyler Street were replaced in the late 1980s, continuous welded rail was put in along the six tenths mile of street running here on Schuyler Street. that you see is of course for a Utica Club. Home of Utica Club. And here comes the Susquehanna with 3040 returning to the rails after being gone for repairs about a month or so. Got one car to put into mats today. Good morning, Ethan. How are you? Good, how you doing? Good, good. Chilly today. It is. Thank you. 
You too, Ethan. Hey, hey I love ya. <laughs> Ethan was referring to his daughter who enjoys seeing him on YouTube. So that's it for today. Along Schuyler Street in Utica, New York. So until next time, this is, this is Railroading Rambler, out for now. And it's sure good to see 3040 back on the rails again. So purely by chance I caught them coming back, heading down Schuyler Street. Actually today is an interesting day on the Utica branch because there are two crews working today. The crew handling the local work that is on 3040 and another crew taking the two CSX engines that are currently on the line taking a train down to Sangerfield. So a big day for the branch with two crews toiling the day away. So thanks again for watching and thanks to Doug Ellison for supplying the picture of the Erie Lackawanna coming out of the brewery way back in 1967.